Okay, in this uh, video, we like to talk about how to create your chart in Excel. So in order to create chart in Excel, there is a, a, uh, a, an Excel file called annual average weather data. You can download it on the link under the video. So on, on this data, I have two sheets, one for Dearborn, one for San Antonio, uh, two different cities. And each city, we have the month in each month and then for every month we have the low the high and the average of that month uh, we also have the precipitation and then the record which was the maximum and minimum in different season so i'm thinking of what types of chart would be appropriate for this uh, data to plot them again looking in this data we have we cannot understand nothing until it become plotted then you can visually see what's happening you can see the trend you can see the um, variations on it but in this case, again, I click on Enable Editing, I open the file. Uh, you can select your data and then you can go to the Insert and Chart. So let's do that. Uh, I have the X axis, I have the Y axis and the title. In this case, what I want to do, the X axis will be the, the, the month of January through May, December. So the X axis will be January through December. And then the Y axis will be the temperature. I like to have the high and the low and then the average all three of them in uh, the same graph. Usually because again, this is in, in degree Celsius. If you want to convert them to degree Fahrenheit, we can do that. So let's do that first. By now, again, we talk about the function in the other slide. You know that if you want to convert from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, the conversion would be uh, 1.8 times C plus 32, right? So F is equal to 1.8 times C plus 32. Uh, if I want to convert this, so let me just to type in here, like in somewhere in K3, I'm going to say equal to uh, month year. Again, I just click on the C3, then I can drag this one down. Uh, the next one, I, next thing I can do, I could do, I could copy the, these three from here to here, those three labels, put them low, high, and average here. I can do the calculation. So L in this L, I can say equal to, click on that, right? If I click on that, it will bring return that value, but I want to go with the formula. So it's going to say that equal to 1.8 times this cell, which is cell of D4, plus 32. You can double click, you can drag down, or you can drag to the right, right? Let's just go to the bottom right corner, click on it, drag it, and then double click. If you double click, it will populate for the rest of them. So if I want to create the chart like this, um, Excel by itself knows it. If you delete, if you delete the months there, like if you got something like this, if you got something like this, here is X, here is Y1, and here is Y2, here is Y3, it will do, it will do the plotting automatically for us. We don't need to be worried about where the X axis is. So I'm going to delete the month here intentionally and then select all the data. So if I select all the data, I can go to insert and select a chart. Again, based on my other chart, I was looking into a more of a line chart. You can click on the recommended chart to see what pops up. Again, the Excel recommended uh, um, a line chart. You can do a bar chart too, but it's a little bit hard to read through those bar charts. Uh, I don't recommend you to do a scatter plot. We'll discuss a scatter plot later on. It's used for like a prediction of the data. Or I don't also recommend you to do a stack chart over each other. No meaning in this case. So I'm going to go with the line chart and press OK. It give me this graph. In this graph, again, I can read the January through December. But unfortunately, there is no label on, on the Y. How can I create that label? So once you have your graph ready, your chart ready, you can click on the chart and there's a whole design on it. Chart design on the top will pop up and then you can add chart elements to it. I'm looking for axis title. I'm looking for the vertical one. Then on the vertical, I can say that this is a temperature and that temperature is degree Fahrenheit. And the title, I can make this, this graph is for San Antonio. 
in the VZ. So uh, next one I like to do, you can see we have the precipitation. Precipitation meaning that rain or the snow. Uh, what chart will be more appropriate for this? In this graph, I want to see in San Antonio, uh, how the distribution of it look like, right? How the distribution of this one look like with respect to season or different thing, again, with respect to months. Uh, for me to do that, I'm going to get, I'm going to get to here, then uh, select the January and then select the precipitation. I can select these two columns. Again, in order to select two columns, you have to press Control, right? Control, when you want to do, when you want to select multiple columns, multiple data. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to select month, then click, keep the Control pressed, and then select the precipitation column. What would be a good chart for this? I can do, I can do all sorts of chart. Let's go to Insert. I can do a bar chart for this like this. I can see like precipitation in May, June, and October are the highest, but I cannot see how much of proportion throughout the year are from this month. So in this case, a pie chart will be more appropriate, right? A chart, pie chart will give us more data. So let me delete this and then go to insert again, click on the pie chart. On the pie chart, I have all sorts of pie charts. I have, I can have like a donut types of chart. Um, I can have just just the, uh, the basic one is showing the precipitation with different months or you can click on the recommended chart, right? So again, it did not recommend the pie chart. I can go to the pie chart and I have it here, all sort of the chart. I can click on this and then press OK. I got the pie chart on this. Now, when you got the pie chart, you don't see the percentage here, right? I like to see it because when I hover over it, it shows the percentage but it doesn't pop up here. So you can right click on it and then you can say add data label, right? So when I add data label, it's gonna show the data label on it. So I'm looking into whether I can add, format the data label. So whether I can add the percentage somewhere, right? So percentage is right here. I can click on the percentage. How I got here, let me just move on one more. So you right, you click on the pie chart and then right click. You can have add data labels. I'm going to add data labels. Right click on it again. In this time, you can right click on the label. It's, it has, it should come up with something like format data labels. Then you can check the percentage, right? If I check the percentage, it's going to bring up the percentage for me. I can drag them a little bit out so they stand out. Yeah, it doesn't kind of make sense for the percentage wise. It's showing like, yeah, it's showing, yeah, it kind of makes sense, sorry. So the highest percentage is, I have both numbers. I have like a 9%, 13% in that month. You can have like, add more data label to it, right? You can add, give me the values for this. Sorry, you can add, add give me the series name. No, I'm looking for category name. Give me the month of it then I don't need the value, I just need the percentage. And then you can get rid of this legend at the bottom, right? This would be a good chart for us, showing how much of the percentage came on each month uh, from the precipitation. And then what month we have more, what month we have less. I'm gonna drag in this stuff out of the way so I can visibly see them. Uh, working with charts is like more being artists or more being into what do you want to communicate? How do you want to communicate with the people, right? And what's the purpose of this chart? Like the purpose right now, the chart that I created, I want to tell you, I want to emphasize on what month we have a higher percentage of precipitation. Uh, if I click on the chart and I change the data series, so I want to know if I can change the series of uh, the data. So let's click on this and then go back to so I click on the chart maybe again, and then find, select data. So I want to select the data on, instead of having precipitation on this line, I want to have it in, in the next uh, sheet. The next sheet called Dearborn. So I'm going to rename San Antonio to Dearborn. Sorry, this is a little bit a hectic way to do that. Uh, Dearborn, and then I do not know even my data or on the exact location. That will be another problem. If they are not in the exact location, uh, it wouldn't generate the same graph for me. Oh, 
or let me just to do a control Z here I have a participation here I'm gonna copy this copy this graph move on to the Dearborn and then paste it here and then now I click on this select the data because I, I, I want to keep this chart right uh, again if you don't want to keep this chart you can simply delete this chart and then uh, click on select the month again repeat the same process select the month the column with the months hit the control keep it pressed and then click on insert the pie chart and you can right click on it add the data label click again format data series uh, sorry format data labels and then I want to include the category name I want to exclude this and I want to include percentage so I can right now I could have a comparison side by side of what's going on in Dearborn and what's going on in San Antonio so uh, you if by looking in the chart you can see in Dearborn the precipitation in months of January and then again is very low uh, kind of consistent throughout the uh, the rest of the months between 9% to 8 to 10% from April to October it has a consistent types of uh, rain but if I go to San Antonio the it's going to be somewhere different right it has the very highest not too much high in April but too much higher in May and June again uh, chart is just the art of presentation of what do you want to present what do you want to select and show it. but basically you have to play with the tools you can add chart elements through here you can right click on it you can format axis format excel just play with what you have on uh, on, on on the menu thank you for watching